It's crunch time in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Only two races to go. Welcome to today's edition of my weekly NASCAR commenting blah show. I, I'm going to be in a little while answering just a hand, a handful. I didn't pick too many. Just a handful of your comments slash questions. Uh, and I'll be doing that in just a few minutes. But first, I want to talk about some, uh, you know, big time news that's coming up here for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Well, as you hopefully know, and if you don't know, get on something. Get get on the internet and go to NASCAR.com or anything NASCAR related and you'll hear about it. But it, Matt Kenseth and Jimmy Johnson right now have completely broken away from the field. It's obviously a two-man battle here for the final two races. To be honest, I don't think third place Kevin Harvick even has a chance. He's almost he's 40 points behind. That's almost a full race of worth of points. Jimmy and Matt would have to wreck pretty much both races if, Ke if Kevin Harvick wanted to win this thing. And I don't think the odds of that happening are very, very low. Um... So, Jimmy Johnson has the 7-point lead over Matt Kenseth. He's coming off a dominating performance at Texas Motor Speedway last Sunday. If you want to see my review about that race, uh, it's the video before this. You can check it out. Um, but, all in all, it's clearly established that Matt Kenseth is going to have to win races if he wants to, obviously, get back in the running with Jimmy Johnson. Because Jimmy Johnson is obviously top of his game. It's going to come out of either Matt Kenseth has to go out there and win these final two races, or Jimmy Johnson is going to have to make a mistake in at least one of them. Which I think is very possible. I mean, just look at last year. They're almost in the exact same situation. Except it was Keselowski and Johnson, not Kenseth. Um, coming off Texas, Jimmy had a seven-point lead and basically had pretty big problems there at Phoenix and uh, Homestead, the final two races of the year, and ultimately lost the championship to Brad Keselowski. So, Matt Kenseth fans like me are hoping that history repeats itself, and Jimmy Johnson fans are hoping that he can get that sixth championship and continue his quest for eight, which he boldly made that prediction a while back. Um, so yeah, sorry, I paused. I was reading a comment that just popped up. I didn't actually notice it before. But, okay, I'm going to go and jump into it because this is usually where I get most of my uh, ideas from. You know, my internet's been kind of screwed up today, so I'm not getting all the comments that I originally had planned out to answer. So, sorry about that, but I have... Uh, but I have a few comments here that I can still read. First one I'm going to start with is from Jim Jim 9404 He asks, if the 48 takes more than a 15-point lead after Phoenix, will the 20 have a chance? Well, yeah, of course it'll have a chance. I mean, as long as it's no more than, like, 40 points <laughs> ahead, I think Kenseth has a chance. Um, but it, it, I think definitely Matt Kenseth wants to eat into this points lead this week. Um, he doesn't have to. It's like... It's like when you procrastinate for like a project at school. If it's like it's Tuesday, you know it's due Friday. It's like okay, uh, I could do a little bit of it Wednesday. No, no, no. I mean, I'll just do it all on Thursday. That's kind of how Matt Kent with this. You, you want to. Your teachers, your parents, everyone tells you it's better if you do a little bit on Wednesday and then a little bit on Thursday and then turn it down on Friday. It's better than doing nothing on Wednesday and all of it on Friday or Thursday. Sorry. So that's kind of how I'm thinking of this with Matt Kenseth. He definitely wants to eat into that seven-point lead a little bit here at Phoenix, even if it's just one or two points. It's just it's better than nothing at all because he'd rather make up some of the ground now and not have all of it to make up at when they go to the final race of the season because although Kenseth has historically been better at, been, at Homestead than Jimmy Johnson, you still don't want to put yourself in as big a hole as maybe what Kenseth has, has right now. Um, so that's the answer to that question. And now here's a question from Brendan Goforth. I like that name. Goforth. Go forth and do whatever it is you do. Uh, he asks, with Johnson and Kenseth being the two main contenders to win the championship, if they were both to wreck at Phoenix, is there any possibility that Harvick or Bush could slip in and possibly take the win? I assume by win you mean championship. Because, yeah. Um, no, there's no chance. If they both... Well, wait, actually, let me reread that. Hold on. He says, if they both... If they both were to wreck at Phoenix, yeah, it'd be possible, I guess, but they both have to wreck at Phoenix, and they'd still probably have to have some problems at Homestead, because even if they wreck at Phoenix, they're still going to most likely have the points lead, still be the top two in points. So even if Harvick or Bush goes out there and gets top fives or whatever. But I think, to be honest, there's a better chance of Kenseth and Johnson both wrecking than there is of both Harvick and Bush getting top fives, just to be honest. Um, so... No, I don't think Harvick or Bush really have a realistic chance, or Dale Jr., or Jeff Gordon for that matter. They're all out of it, unfortunately. I know for you Gordon and Jr. fans. G Gordon's championship hopes, if you missed it, took a huge hit. He came into the points last week third. I think he was 27 points back. 
and then he hit the wall pretty early in the Texas North Speedway race and finished 38th. He is basically done now. So tough break for him. But so I but to answer your question, it's it's no, it's between the 20 and the 48 now. If they were both to wreck at Phoenix, yes, I guess the Harvick or Bush would have a chance. I still wouldn't say it's a great chance. I think they'd still be behind, but definitely not by very much. Um, another question. This is really the only other question I have because, like I said, my internet's been screwed up. I'll search around for some other stuff here. But uh, from Daniel Gilbert, do you think Dale Jr. will be a le legitimate contender for next year's title? I know at least a lot of y'all are Dale Earnhardt Jr. fans, so I, that's why I'm deciding to answer this question, even though it's completely irrelevant to this year. <laughs> Um, yeah, Dale Jr. will be, will be, have a chance for championship next year. Of course he will. I, th I think he, if not for Chicagoland to start this chase, I think he'd be a contender right now. But the thing that that team needs to do, and we all know it, they need to win some races. They had, they, they were, right now they're on pace. They, they won, they had, he hadn't won any races since 2008, and then he won one in two, last year. He won the race at Michigan last year, and it was a big deal. And then he just came back this year, and he hasn't won anything. He's got a bunch of second place finishes, which is great. He's run well, but he's just, not be able to, you know, finish the deal and win races and, you know, make get make up because that's the best way to make up points in this series. With you get the extra bonus points for winning a race. So if you want to make up points in this league, you gotta win races. It's the easiest way. And the AD team just hasn't been able to do that, which it doesn't make sense to me really. A lot of it's been bad luck or awkward circumstances, but with the Hendrick engines, I mean, you look at Jimmy Johnson, just he dominates it. There's three or four races a year where he just goes out there and from start to finish, you know he's going to win the race, and he does. And Jeff Gordon, he usually runs pretty well at Martinsville. Casey Kane has decent runs. And they all win races every year. Dale Earnhardt Jr., what is it about him where he just cannot win races? Is there something he... I don't know if it's Jr.'s fault necessarily or if it's his crew chief. I know I don't follow Dale Jr. as closely as probably a lot of you guys do, so maybe you guys have more of an inside scoop. You guys kind of read his Twitter posts or do whatever. You guys hear more about it. Maybe you guys have a better idea... A, a, have a better idea about why Dale Jr. can never win a race, but from my understanding, it just looks like a lot of times it's bad luck, like the Chicagoland thing was a blown engine, but again, that's Hendrick Power, it's it's Hendrick Motorsports it doesn't blow too many engines, so you gotta think there's something else in there, maybe between Steve Letart or something like that, because, I mean, Hendrick, Hendrick Motorsports doesn't blow very many engines in, in a year, I mean, you look at the Toyotas to blow engines, you don't look at Dale Earnhardt Jr. and guys to be blowing engines every year, but, I mean, you run into you you run into a lot of problems there because it feels like Dale Earnhardt Jr. should be winning races. Should be he should be, he feels like he runs well enough to have two to about two wins a year maybe. I, he's not he's not at to the level that Jimmy Johnson and Matt Kenseth are or, or at least were this year. He's not that level, but he's definitely there with like Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, who all have a, a few wins to their credit. So the fact that Dale Jr. has no wins at all and really he's only and only has one win in the last five years or so. That's just that, that's mind blowing to me, and I, it's 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 not that they aren't running well enough to win; it's that they just things just aren't falling their way. You know, from now I'm gonna start watching for that now because you know I mean I'm curious. I know Downhart Junior they run well every week, and then it feels like they just fade or have something happen. So I'm gonna start watching that from now on to see how, what if I can figure out the pattern or what the main causes for why Dale Junior doesn't win races. <laughs> but so yeah, Dale Earnhardt Junior. To answer your question, uh, he will. I can, I I I, w I would definitely say that he'll make the chase next year. I mean, just in my mind, definitely he's pretty close to a lock. But will he win the championship? I think he'll be a top five, top six contender. I still think the 48 is going to be the guy to be every year until he retires. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's about it. Uh, I see how much time do I have? Oh, I've actually spent an okay amount of time talking. I guess I rambled on about Dale Jr. a little bit more than I usually do. Oops. I don't have any other questions to answer. I know you got a lot of you guys posted questions, blah, 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 but I, my internet is totally screwed up right now. I don't know why, so I can only see, like, a handful of quest comments that were posted in the last, like, day, so I haven't been able to really see that. So I'm just going to spend this next minute talking to you about some uh, important announcements coming up for not only this channel, but for just things in general. Um, let me gather my thoughts really quick. Okay, yeah. Some comments I've been asking, you guys asked me if I got a Kurt Busch car and uh, at Texas Motor Speedway last week because I was at the racetrack and I, Kurt Busch, just, his car just came available in most places. I could not find one. I, I don't remember if I told you guys this on my last video, but if I didn't, then you're hearing it now for the first time. I could not find a Kurt Busch car, so I still have my Pebble. I don't know where I put my Pebble now. Uh, it's around here somewhere. I still have my Pebble 
right now for Kurt Busch's car, but I'm about to start filming season four of the W Cup series, like probably in the next day or two I'm going to start filming, and there will not be a Kurt Busch in that thing. So just for all you Kurt Busch fans, I'm sorry, but it has to do with him being from a small team. Just he doesn't, they don't market himself very, him very well, and that's part of why he's leaving. I mean, and I think most drivers that are in that position want to get out of that. That's why Matt Kenseth went from Rash Fenway to Joe Gibbs Racing, because he had no sponsorship at Rash Fenway, so they wanted to get his butt out of there. That's what's happened to Kurt Busch, and that's why you can't really find a Kurt Busch car available anywhere. So I'll look online. I know they have a bunch online. You guys keep, you've sent me like at least 20, 30 comments now telling me that there's Kurt Busch here, 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 here. I know where they have Kurt Busch. I just need to get off my lazy butt and order it. I don't know why I keep forgetting about it. But I'll, I'll do it right after this video. I'll, up, I'll go order of Kurt Busch. So he'll probably be available for sign-ups, I guess, by the second or third race of the season. Because I'm about to start filming now, and he's not going to be in it. So, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know there. And speaking of W Cup Series Season 4, I know you guys are all interested and all curious. You all want to know when it starts. I get comments every single day asking me, when is it going to start? Why are you not doing this? You suck. You should be doing this. And I take great offense at a lot of those. Uh, but at the same time, I understand. So here I am going to give you, I mentioned this last video, but I'm going to again repeat it. I have decided that signups will be either Sunday, will be posted during the week of November 18th. It'll be sometime between the 18th and probably the 23rd, which is that Friday. So in that span, I'm not going to give you the exact day. This is all I'm going to tell you. It's going to be between the 18th and the 23rd, and it's just going to be uploaded some random time between then. Could be, I could upload it on the 18th. I could upload it on the 23rd. It'll be sometime between there. And to be honest, it's just going to be a luck of the draw whether or not you get in or not. So uh, I also, just a quick disclaimer, I, just, I know a lot of you guys may not be aware of this or may... I don't want to get your hopes too up. I mean, I'm not going to say you can't get in, because obviously you can. There's, I have, I'll have probably 28 spots. 28 spots will be available. But keep in mind that I have over 4,000 subscribers. The odds of you getting in are very slim. Just going to throw that out there right now. So I don't, want to, I don't want to get a bunch of hate comments or frustrate people that they didn't get in, so they're unsubscribing, because you got to realize... The odds of you getting in are less than 1%, actually. <laughs> so don't hate me for not being able to get you in the series. It's not like I can do 20 different series at the same time. I'd kill myself first. That'd be way too much work. One's enough as it is. So just don't hate me like some people did after last year that you can't get Because last year, when I did my last season, I only had like 2,000 subscribers. It's like double that now. This is going to be... This is going to be madness. That's why I'm not giving you an exact day and time like I've done in the past. I'm just telling you it's going to be some random time between those five days. And it's going to be just kind of luck. If you happen to be online at the right time, good for you. You're going to be in the series. But you, it's going to be tough. just going to say that right now. But I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully you are too. That's all I have today from my bedroom. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later.